All about my money, get my guap and turn my hood. Higher than a bitch, I'm off the oil, they don't get it. Uh, running up my money, I'm getting my money, I'm talking my chicken. Huh? That bitch be talking that shit, but whole time told that bitch to listen. Huh? Running up this shit, but whole time ain't no competition. Huh? Yo, yo, yo. What's cracking y'all? What's cracking y'all? It's your boy, Mr. City in the VIP. You know, you know what's going on, man. Instantly. Another day, another vlog, another video, I say. You know what I'm saying? What's brushing cousin? Another discussion. So I'm smoking. You see the blunt already down there going. I was already smoking that shit. I'm going to roll up again, but not in the video. Let me just smoke this bitch. Because this ain't going to be a long discussion. You know what I'm saying? Well, it shouldn't be too long. I don't know how long it's going to be. It might be a good 15 minutes, depending. But what we're talking about today is basically copywriting music. And while, like, nowadays, copywriting music and... Uh, I want to put this basically the fact that uploading music and facing a copyright is more common now than it was like back then. You know what I'm saying? And I kind of, I kind of wanted to discuss that, but it, it really starts with the beats. It really is mainly with the beats. You know what I'm saying? So we finna discuss that. So, like I was just sitting here saying. Talking to myself, I'm like, okay. The only thing about using YouTube beats, bro, or the main thing, right, is you never know if any of these people actually got their actual like credentials, their licenses, and all of that shit together and in tech, right? You know what I'm saying? So you fuck around, listen to a beat, you might steal it, you might buy it, but let's say you buy it. You know what I'm saying? Either way, whatever. But let's say you buy it, right? Because this is mainly where the problem lies. You know what I'm saying? It's a problem in general, but this is mainly where the problem lies. So instantly, you buy a beat, whatever you pay, you make the song, you drop the song, you upload the song to YouTube and this down the third, whatever, right? As soon as you upload the song, the video, whatever it is that you do, both you get copy, you get copyright notifications or claims or whatever, right? So then you look at them, you get the look in this shit. You like, how am I facing a copyright claim <clears throat> when I have the right to use this beat, post it, make money off of it, sales and everything? I paid for some type of license to be able to distribute this shit and make some type of sales and some type of revenue back off of this. So how am I uploading this shit onto YouTube and then this shit talking about some copyright? How that make sense? The problem is, mainly now, A lot of these people, bro, who starting to make beats, I'm not going to say they not good and they don't know how, but they not actual beat makers. Like, they not organic beat makers. That's what I say. And by that, I mean, they not sitting here making beats and sounds straight from scratch, original sounds. You know what I'm saying? Rather, it's your own type of type beats or whatever, however you want to do it. But it's like, a lot of these producers nowadays, they not these type, but they want to produce and they want to make beats. So we in a day and age where somebody, some 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 ones, whatever it was, whoever it was, right, figured out basically a way to help somebody learn how to make beats without having to really, really, really know how to fully, fully make a beat from scratch, but you still gotta know what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? But it's easier, it's template pretty much. So it's like this what I do, bro. Or this what they do. I say what I was speaking. Y'all know I usually speak like it's me. So this is what they do. They fuck around how they own little kid, right? They'll be instantly, you know, become popular, whatever the fuck, based off the productions, based off who they produce for and stuff like that. So they started becoming popular. More people tap, tapping in, listening to them, shit like that, right? So then they're like, I bet. They start getting motherfuckers reaching out to them who want to make beats.
hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? I'm so and so. I'm interested in making beats, but I'm gonna be honest. I looked into it. I've been researching it. I've even tried to start making my own, and it just seems too complicated. But it's something I really want to do. Is there anything, any way you can help me? It could have been that one person. It could have been that one person that had multiple people, or even just one person hit them up and ask them this shit, and they opened their eyes. But it could it usually be motherfuckers getting the same question over and over and over, and after a while, you just be like, okay, bro, I would love to help all of y'all, but how do I do that? Like, you know what I'm saying? And I could do it freely, but this shit is work. So it's like, what I do? I know what I do. I sit here and I make sound templates. So I'm gonna structure a eight, anywhere from a four, eight, maybe a twelve, maybe a sixteen, but usually probably like a four, eight, twelve bar template or a twelve stem stencil, whatever template, you know what I'm saying? And it'll be just like a set bass sound. So you might get just a repetitive, a quick little eight of some boom, 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 boom. Then you might buy, nigga, if you get a pack, if they selling this shit in packs, you might get another loop in there. It might be. Something to add on top of that with some claps, like you get the boom, boom, then the next shit will be like some dun 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 to figure this out and start doing it like this. So now you got a lot of these producers just reaching out to people looking for loops, wanting loops. They might know how to kind of make beats from scratch and shit like that, but they want loops. So then they reach out to these people and say, these producers, they've been doing it for a little while. They did their research and shit, so they got their business on point, right? So they know how to set up their copyrights and anything for if they sounds get used or whatever. Some type of copyright pop up, you know what I'm saying? This down the third, just in case you stole a beat and you didn't buy it. So then they grab the uh they grab the stencils, you know what I'm saying, the loops, whatever from them. They start making beats. Now these is they beats. They setting up, they doing the structures, the sounds, and all of that. They self. They just taking the loops, and they just putting everything together. You know what I'm saying? There's other other people loop somebody else loops. But they taking them, and they piecing them together, and they ways, and adding some little shit on top. Because they probably learning as they go, like, okay. This is, okay, I got these loops, and this down the third. But this is sound nice if this had this. Shit, okay, you might have to go in there and do that and add that little shit yourself. So then I done put you on to slowly but for surely learning how to do what you're trying to do. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, they start coming around. But they start instantly making these beats and partnering with people and doing these loops. So then you will come across a beat. Beat be hard as hell. You would think this beat is 100% the person who made it. Like, they made this whole entire beat from scratch themselves, like. And then you will fuck around and go to the bio or the information in the video or whatever to upload. And then read it be like, oh, yeah, probably so-and-so, me, this person, this person, this person. And then it'll make you wonder, like, did you send these beats off to these people or what? Never crossed my mind until just, like, damn near now. And then, you know, just a few weeks ago, whatever, like, our whole time, no, y'all probably ain't even linking with them. Y'all probably locking in and connecting with them or y'all just... 
coming across their links or their channels and shit, and then these niggas start offering loops and shit after their channels get a decent amount of subscribers and follows. And then you fuck around and be one of them people who got the interest in beats and then click in the little bios and you see some shit. Fuck around, go to end up buying some kits and shit like that from one person to a few, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll tell you better time, man. So then... After they make the beat, like I said, they done pieced all this shit together. You read this shit like, oh, okay, this be hard as hell. But then you come to find out, nigga, they just sat here and probably took some loose from this person, this person, and this person. So then you buy the beat, and you think you done bought the beat straight from the, straight up from the right person. The whole time, since this person, the gravity is loose from these other people, they got uh, producer rights, composer rights, whatever you want to call it. As well, just like the original person you were just trying to buy the beat from. So then, it'll be some shit like that is one way you can get copyrighted. You know what I'm saying? That's just one way. Another way with these with these beats. Let me get this shit out of this way. Another thing with these beats, bro, is... A lot of these beats be recycled. They sent off to a lot of different people, artists, shit they uploaded to YouTube, you know what I'm saying, emails, whatever. So, it's like, you fuck around, actually listen to somebody beats, come across the beats, whatever. Like the beat. Buy the beat. After you buy the beat, you feel me? You make your shit, you upload your shit, right? You still get smacked with a copyright. So now you like, what? Now the copyright's not coming from the producer. You feel me? It ain't coming from the person who made the beat. It's coming from somebody else who happens to have a song to this or have some type of something that's using this sound. One of the motherfucking... Uh, part of one of the loops, anything, bro. It just be any of this little shit, bro. And I was just watching a video and somebody was just talking about this. So if a song plays in your video, right, and it has a copyright on it, if you play a song in your YouTube video, rather, like if I was to play a song right now and it wasn't my own song and it was like Boss Man d or some shit like that or anything, if I was to play that shit for 15 to 30 seconds, bro, Boss Man d could claim the revenue or the monetizer, whatever it is you want to call it, but he could claim the rights to this video is what I'm going to say, which is exactly what I mean. Just off of 15 to 30 seconds, he will be able to claim this whole entire video if I was to sit here and just play his shit. You feel me? So... That tie into doing reviews and shit too, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people stop doing music reviews and this, that, and the third because a lot of people was making music, not buying their beats or is buying their beats, but then they still sit here going through some shit like. That's the end of my phone. Hold on. I'm in up half an hour. That one more time. Where's that? 13 minutes. Oh, okay. We're gonna have to do that one more time too. But um they asked me, so you will sit here, right? You will see the copyright hit and shit, and you will be like, What the fuck, bro? How the hell am I getting copyrighted? And I bought this beat this time the third and some more shit. Like I should be able to boom. So you go look at the whoop and see what the copyright is. Like I said, and end up being somebody else shit or whatever. So then now, that's why I said, like, this been making me mad, too, with buying beats from a lot of people because with all this looping and combining and different shit and people collabing and shit with beats, it's like some of these people is having their shit right, some of them is not. So then you fuck around and connect with whoever, you know what I'm saying? And if they collabing on a beat, depending on who the person or the people is, one of them if not all of them, 
or some of them cannot have that shit right. So then say you lock in with one producer or whatever and you like the beat, you buy from him. He is the producer that got his shit right. He got his copyrights set up, his licenses set up, all of that right. So when you actually sit here, like back then when I used to buy beats, I noticed this a lot lately too. A lot of beats I get now, bro, um, a lot of people do their shit just through beat stars to try to make it simple so they ain't really got to do too much like setting up and shit like that. But like, Back then, bro, if people, even on beat stars, when you used to buy beats, and I think some people still got that shit set up correctly like that and shit too, but when you used to buy beats, you used to sit here and you have to, you would have to also get and download the licenses that came with the beats. There was the agreements, and they'd tell you what you were able to do with these beats type shit, which I used to read them and be like, how the fuck, after I buy it, are you going to tell me how much I'm able to make off this shit? Which I guess it start making sense as I'm older and I'm in the business more and I'm more in depth with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it makes sense. But I'm like, shit, you know, bro. All right, bet. Damn, that was a long one. That was like, damn, that two minutes, on bro. But instantly, though, so they credentials are fuck around. I mean, I'm re- I'll am i be reading the shit or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm always went back to the wrong part. So I'll be reading the licenses and shit, and I'm like, bro, how is it going to be able to tell me some shit like this? Like, okay, it'll be like, since you bought this license, you're only eligible. If you're eligible to sell up to 10,000 copies CD-wise, so I guess physical, then they'd be like, you're eligible to receive up to 100,000 streams and plays. Uh, And I think they'd be like, across all platforms combined, there's some weird shit like that. I don't even think it'd be like per. It'll let you know if it's per. Like, you can receive up to 100,000 plays per platform that you uploaded on, but I think it's usually like all combined. And if you surpass any of that more than they basically want you to upgrade licenses type shit like that. Like, that's how I used to be set up when I was buying beats year years, years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, 18, 19, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how it's coming. So, nowadays, since there's so many young producers and high schoolers and stuff like that, they know how to get their hands on, like, the technology and shit, but they don't know or understand the actual full-fledged business and stuff. So, it's like, a lot of these producers, they young and they making money and they making livings, bro. But it's like, I feel like a lot of them are getting got because when they start seeing money, that's what they be, they making the beats, obviously, to try to make a living. They don't want to work for nobody, you know what I'm saying? So when they actually start seeing the money from that shit, it be like, okay, well, shit, I could turn my life around with this and do whatever I want. But it's like when they young and shit like that, they kind of get stuck and kind of trapped in the sense of like, Okay, look, we just gonna pay you, we just gonna pay you, we just gonna pay you, you know what I'm saying? Like, once they start actually making a name for themselves, and then they start actually, like, I say rather they compl- they collab with people who are buzzing or start buzzing, having a buzz, you know what I'm saying? Like, starting to have a buzz or already got a buzz. So it's like, rather some shit like that or whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? When it start coming and the money start coming in and shit like that, it's pretty much like they start being blindsided in blinded by the bread. So then it's like, okay, they might kind of start knowing the business a little bit more, but they start being more focused on understanding how to maintain and probably manage their money, more so actually understanding how to set up and structure the distribution of their creations, you know what I'm saying, and their projects. So it's like, you will look up, you will hear about some producers, they'll be doing they, they whole situation for a minute, this time the third, do I bam, rather young or old or decent age or whatever. And then after a while, you probably 
I'll stop hearing about them or they'll stop, they'll be making beats. But then you would be like, dang, they don't upload beats on YouTube no more. They don't do this, they don't do that. Like, yeah, somebody then snatched them up and made them, like, be putting them in a the lab and got them paid. But damn near they made them like a slave, you know what I'm saying, type shit like that. So then it's like they end up getting stuck in these situations because they didn't take the time to learn how to actually, okay, look, I make beats like this, you know what I'm saying? People be liking them. They be listening to them like this. So this is how I should distribute them. I should not make them so easy to be accessed. You know what I'm saying? That's easy. But most people don't realize this until they signed or they start getting attention and whatever. But it's like, you should already be on that type of time where it's like, okay, when I first start off, yeah, make my beats accessible and shit like that because I want to be heard and discovered. Easiest way is YouTube. Like, if you want to literally start making beats and literally make a, make a channel just bust and blow real fast off of views, I thought about doing it too. Make beats. Like, even if you got a vlog channel, like you want to do vlogs or some shit like that, this is just like a quick little sauce. Like, everybody shouldn't be making beats. This is not me telling everybody, like, oh, yeah, you know what? Just go make beats. Like, fuck no. Like, no, it ain't for everybody. But I'm saying, like, one way for a motherfucker, like, if you really have the interest in, but you're trying to get into some other shit, Start off doing some shit like making beats and really uploading them bitches and just being consistent. At some point, bro, your views gonna start going up. Subscribers start going up and shit like that fast. Like, faster versus, like, just doing these vlogs and sit-downs and talks like that. Because, like, you gotta really work for this shit. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make a motherfucker want to listen to you. You know? So, it's like, this shit different. But when you making them beats and shit like that, people actually are already searching and looking, trying to come and listen to this shit. You know what I'm saying? They looking for a this type B or that type B. So, if you know how to really make these tight beats and upload them and shit like that. You start up, uploading them and keep them consistent and staying consistent. Your numbers, your views, your subscribers and everything just gonna start going up. And faster. I done seen the channel, right? I done tuned into a channel and it was weird as hell. I done been on YouTube. Random ass beat pop up. And this another thing I'm gonna get into too. Damn, this actually is gonna be done in a little 30 minute video. Fuck, I'm trying to... Fuck it. Instantly, so I sit there, I hop on YouTube, bro. I come across a beat. That bitch would be slamming, wanking. Page to have 200 subscribers, 100 subscribers. This would be it's. But look, the views would be like, it'll say a few hours, maybe a day. Views already passed, surpassed 1,000, maybe 2,000 or three already. Page got. 100, 200 subscribers. This only the second B uploaded. Second, maybe third B uploaded. It's already doing 1,000, 2,000 in a day. I'm, what the fuck, bro? I started paying attention to that shit. Like, damn, a lot of these B channels, boom, boom, boom. So then, this is what made me say this, too. And it just clicked in my head. So I'm watching a video on YouTube, right? And uh, uh, it was a producer. I think it was a YouTube video. I was watching something. But it was a producer, and it was either that or I was reading some, and they basically was like this. Somebody commented and was like, hey, bro, I think somebody be stealing your beats. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just literally was on a whole different channel with a whole different name, this, that, and the third, and this exact beat was just on there playing, but it didn't have your tag in it. You know what I'm saying? Like, this beat is your exact beat, but it got your tag in it. This one, it didn't have no tag, probably, or it probably had your tag in it, too, or a different tag or some shit, or I don't know, whatever. But a motherfucker was like, what the hell, bro? Like, And then a motherfucker commented back and was like, oh, yeah, bro, I got, like, four, five beat channels. So I just be, you know what I'm saying? I pick and choose where I want to upload the same beats to and different beats just to spread the possible, um, oh my God, bro, the simplest word, bro. Spread the possible, um, come across, man, bro, like, I be having words right on the tip of my tongue, and then they just like this. Um, bro, but, like, just spend, spreading a possible, like, um, interaction. That's the word I'm looking for. Boom. Just spreading a possible interaction, like, and uh, just heightening the possibility of somebody coming across it and listening to it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I uploaded it on this channel. 
But then I'm like, okay, this channel get this many views. Let me make this channel and upload this beat again and see how many views it get. You just make this motherfucker, you fuck around, upload it. First day, it might do a couple hundred, maybe a thousand. But then the first couple days, you're like, okay, boom. You make another beat, upload on your main channel, upload on that channel again. <clears throat> boom, main channel do his numbers and shit. You probably start doing that just to try to compare and see. But then it's also just easy, constant monetization. So a nigga sit here and monetize four or five YouTubes off of just beats. Can't be mad at it, you know what I'm saying? It's like smart, like, oh, okay, like, okay, I monetize this channel. This motherfucker busting now, like, I could keep uploading beats and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna do this, so I'm gonna do that, possibly a million, whatever I do. But while I'm doing that, I can also pick and choose what are, what are these same beats, if not some of these same beats. So I'm on a whole different channel. And then, so I'm on a whole another channel and another channel and another channel. Motherfuckers just be on YouTube. That's why I said now, YouTube is saturated as fuck with a lot of the same fucking beats. And you would think you tweaking. Like, you would sit here, you would freestyle to a beat. You would let one, you would let a few beats go past this down the third, and then another beat will come back on, and it'll be that same exact type of beat you damn near just was rapping to. My fault, if y'all hear that, that's my, uh, that's my annoying shit. But instantly, so... So instantly, I'm. Hey, fuck, damn, fuck it, right? You feel me? I'm instantly so. My fault, I had to check my line and do a little straight edge check real quick before it baked as hell. I'm broke. So instantly, though, YouTube saturated as fuck, bro. Because it's like, motherfuckers is coming up and figuring out ways to, you know what I'm saying? Be, you know, it's smart. Like I said, I'm not hating on that. But it's like, since motherfuckers is doing this and uploading a lot of the same beats. You literally sitting here listening to shit and fuck around and come across the same exact beat again and be like, oh, what the fuck? I just listened to this beat. Like, hold up, bro. Pause. You would just listen to a beat and like it, right? And this is how I didn't call shit literally exactly like this. I listen to a beat, fuck with it, freestyle to it, go off on it, probably whatever. But I like this beat. Thumbs up. Listen to a few more beats. Come across the same exact beat again. I'm like, bro, what the? Bro, ain't no way. I don't look. I ain't thumbs it up. None of that shit. I'm go back to my thumbs up. Boom. Look at the most recent. Boom. Press that. Play it. What? Boom. Go back again. Go back to the history. Now they side by side, neck and neck, huh? Boom, go back to the other one, play it, play it again. I'm right, bro. This is the same exact fucking beat. What the fuck? This channel just got 200, and then this motherfucker, I mean 200 subs, this one got 200,000 subs. What? Like, you feel me? Shit like that. It'd be like, all right, whatever, okay. So, at first that was happening just like here and there. Then it just started happening way more, bro. I'm like, Bro, I just came across this beat. I just listened to this beat. I just rapped to this beat. I just rapped to this beat 20 minutes ago. I just freestyled to this same exact type of beat 10 minutes ago. Not even a whole hour ago, I just rapped on this type of beat. And this same damn sample just came on again with the same damn type of tempo damn near. Just a little bit sped up or slowed down or twisted a little bit. But it's damn near the same exact shit again. Tight. I could keep going and go about this topic all day, but I don't want to sit here and get to talk for an hour because I don't want to edit for, you feel me? I just got two parts I got to chop in this motherfucker. Yeah, y'all going to be hearing this chair creak, creaking a lot. That's because when I lean and shit to this way, that's from me. Yeah, you feel me? But, yeah, man, that's the video, bro. I ain't finna go no longer than that. Fuck you talking about. You already know what's going on. It's your boy, Mr. Sitchy. Keep them likes coming. Keep them subscribes coming. We're going to get up with y'all. Yeah, it's Yeah. Higher than that bitch, I'm off the oil, they don't get it up Running up my money, I'm getting my money I'm talking my chicken, hold up bitch, be talking that shit But hard time told that bitch to listen